Uh, it's 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 remarkable. Sorry, I'm getting very excited. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications. You're good to go with all the alerts you need when these go live. I'm super excited because Unleash the Archers dropped a brand new video and track named Soulbound um, a little over 24 hours ago. I saw the excitement, all the buzz. It's been a bit of torture not going and watching it and waiting for the reaction, but I did put out a post saying I'd do it today and all the comments echoed that they pretty much smashed it out the park. So I can't wait. Um, can't wait to see it. I was excited anyway. You guys made me even more excited. Let's get straight into it. Unleash the Archers, Soulbound. Let's see what you got. Okay. Okay, I had no idea it was going to be so full on. Um, I think my last reaction was to Northwest Passage. So this is a big shift in gears. So much going on there, but so much I'm actually more familiar with than any of the other stuff. That guitar rip reminds me a lot of kind of the middle core scene I grew up in. Bands like Haste the Day and guys used to play a lot of that kind of lead work. Obviously, they're doing something that is a, a slight tweak on that, and it definitely feels like their own. You can hear the kind of power metal influence in that, but... Um, an incredible guitar riff. Again, one of those guitar riffs you wish you wrote. It's got a lot of nice elements to it. It's got a really good anchor um, on the chord that kind of starts and loops into each cycle. Um, it alternates between ending the, the tail going down and going up again. And there's this weird like retreat. A lot of those riffs kind of build, 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 and then they start again. But this one sounds like it goes like a dun 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 it sounds like there's like a retreat in it, which is really nice. It's like a fresh approach to that. Her vocals come in, just absolutely, excuse the pun, slaying it. Um, I think there were like three harmonies on top of each other there. There was this, a scream in the back that just, it sounded very far back in the mix, but awesome. Love what the drummer's doing. And then there was even this cool, it looked like, I'd have to hear it again to be honest, I'm not sure, but it looked like some really quick harmonics there just to lead into the next part of the song. Oh my word, we're in for a treat. I did not expect this. I'm very happy. Also some synth there, I think. Ah, it's double time. We race around the melted shell of what was once a neutral star and use a gravity to whip us into dark galactic bits. Yes, to somehow we can't escape. They have no flaw, they feel no pain. These twisted shadows of the blood I once condemned. Uh, again, <clears throat> comes in with that powerful vocal. What they're doing is this really quick palm muting piece, but it's doing nice. It turned into nice gallops with uh, the drummer. He's got some insane feet. I don't give him enough credit. Damn, he's good. Um, And then she just, again, knows when to power her vocals and knows when to strip them back. This is a song that requires a lot of energy. It's a lot of urgency. It's got a lot of... um pressure in the tempo and so bringing in those other harmonies i mean she she's she's one of the few people i know who can do uh, a harmony where she skips the first harmony above what she's doing and goes to like a third uh, it's 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 remarkable so i'm getting very excited we race around the melted shore listen to the um the kick gallop with the harmony Great for you. 
again, um, uh, I'm going to go back to the leasing. Th- that feels like a pre-chorus. <clears throat> so it feels like we're going to drift into a chorus at this point. And um, just smart. So that, that, the way that they use screaming, I've said it before, they don't overuse the screaming element. They use it where uh, it feels necessary. It feels like it could fit. So that felt like a conversation between the singing and the screaming. And um, I have read a little bit about kind of the background of the story of this. I'm not going to go in too much into detail with that because I want to pay respect to them and kind of follow the journey from um, Apex and, and, and back then. And I'm kind of still learning, but just a fantastic video. Uh, the song's building up really, really well. And I, I can't wait to see where it goes. I can't wait to hear that kind of chorus that they've got planned for this. Very cool. Yeah, I, I, yeah, they're killing it, man. Um, fantastic chorus, fantastic chorus. Again, um, you know, I was, I was kind of like, I immediately locked onto what the lead guitar was doing. So it's doing this really nice run, but it's not, it's not solo esque. It's more of just a, a defined piece that is meant to fit within the chord progression, and um, it's got a nice little kind of semi repetitive element to the end of it before it cycles over. And it's one of those things where I imagine the the vocal was not written to that, of course. I think the vocal was written to just either there was a vocal in mind that was based off the tempo and the key and then uh, and possibly some of the just foundation chords and then that was written in extra. But it doesn't matter how they got to this point because everything is working. This is a very intense, very um, quick song, but it, nothing feels out of place or overdone and that's hard to do. It's hard to do nowadays when you have musicians at the level that they are. It, believe it or not, this, even in this intensity, is is showing restraint. The drive on the guitar is brutal and steep. I'm going back to that again that is just good use of synth I know that they've introduced some synth into some of the um, newer stuff um, I think we saw it in Abyss as well it started out with it and I saw some people commenting afterwards about how it's possibly a, a new element to their sound I love it and I love it because it's used well and it's used purposefully there is an element of the synth sitting in the background providing a bit of fullness but there where it peaks and it goes up into the higher frequencies where your ear can pick it up easier because it can cut through quicker that's what high frequencies do there's an example of that here and I hope I've gone back enough but just awesome Just before we start that solo, I have to make one more comment about her vocals because a lot of harmonies that are that are that she does are quite high and and it, it, why not? A lot of people can't, most people can't do that, so it makes sense. But there, she's doing some really incredible kind of. She's just making like vowel sounds and she's just making vocal noises versus words or phrasing. But really nice layering of those and some of them being like lower harmonies and some of them just being amplification of what she's doing. Uh, very smart and and you, it just feels like the song is moving in one direction versus going back and forth and i really like that it feels like even though you're hearing a uh, second verse it feels like that verse is in a different place and it's moved forward you feel like you're going on a journey with it versus being stuck and kind of going between points a and b up and down
Okay, hang on. Uh, it looks like they are the kings of the of the uh, handover solos. Um, I would love to know what tuning they play in because they're getting a lot of bend out of those strings, um, particularly the the smaller string at the bottom. Um, they're getting a lot of bend out of that. That is a three. That's a seven string. So um, I don't think I've played on a seven string. Looks fun. Um, yeah, incredible. There's there's, imp there's two important things about solos. The one is technicality and and your um, melodic kind of rhythm. Th those two elements that they aren't. You don't always see them in solos. You, sometimes you see the technicality and the speed, and sometimes you see that melodic um, intelligence. And what I mean by that is some of the most technical and great solos that I've heard, that I've ever heard, don't actually fit the song they're in. They were there as a showcase, they were there as something to be impressive, and you can almost forgive it because of how great they are. And some solos are so simple that they almost don't feel like solos, but they're just so melodically smart and they fit into the song. Well, this is both. Um, this is this is a great balance. They, they are intelligent, intelligent guitarists. They write solos, like I said, the handover kings, but they write solos that are both technically impressive, melodically smart, and fit the song really well. They also don't stretch them out too long. Um, they they give them, they kind of hit you in the chest with it as hard as they can for a couple bars each, and then they just kind of go back to the song, and and, and it just is, a it, again, it's, it's just an enormous amount of maturity. You, you know what? I was I was waiting in anticipation there. Um, let's give the thanks to everyone involved. I, I was waiting patiently there at the end and getting almost a bit tense because I want I so desperately wanted it to end sharp. I think there's a lot of um, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, when 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 you are when you are so hyped up and you're so on on board with that journey of the tempo. Uh, it is one way to leave a listener wanting more is to take it away immediately versus drag it out. And I've said that on some other previous reactions where it felt like the drag outs and the long fades weren't necessary. I quite like those when it's more ballady, when the, the, the melody is just very dreamlike and, and it's almost like wavy and you can take that away slowly. I love that it ended straight away. It also leaves you wanting more. It makes the song feel shorter than it is because of how quickly it ends. And that isn't a, it's not a long song, but it's not a short song four and a half minutes and uh you know that's typically longer than what your traditional radio um rock or metal would allow back in the day at least um when, when radio was was still as big as, as as kind of king media but yeah that was fan that was really good i i i like that a lot i'm going to listen to that again now um as i mentioned i know i, I did read in, in the description of napalm records there's a description of the video there's um britney's th uh, kind of thoughts on the storytelling and she says it doesn't give too much away but explains kind of just the essence and the setup of it and i'm trying to work my way through the apex album as well so i'm piecing the story together probably not in the best fashion um because i've jumped around a little bit not knowing um that they were the kind of they put so much energy and um efforts into the concept and it's just something i wish i knew earlier but no regrets i'm enjoying the journey so that was absolutely fantastic i really hope you enjoyed that even just a a smidgen of what I did because wow um it's a tough time for bands so they're not able to tour support them how they however you can watch their videos stream their music buy their merch um I watched an, an interview with Brittany and I feel bad now because I can't remember the other there was there were, there were three other people kind of interviewing her at once 
And um, I was watching that video and she was talking about how they've got this enormous amount of stock and that's one way uh, of merchandise. And that's one way that fans can help. So find out what the best place to buy from is because there are different kind of markups and that kind of thing. I know all about that. So find out where they are going to get the most reward for that for that um, effort that you're putting in buying the merch and um, support these guys because they just make our days better. Uh, love that one. Hope you did too. Until the next one, please be safe. Be nice to each other and have a damn good day. Yeah.